was hanging. <laughs> um, yeah. Hi. How's it going? Um, I'm back. Back again. <laughs> but yeah, I went to. I did a thing. I went to uh, this massive swap meet. If you don't know what a swap meet is, it's like a like a really big community garage sale. And it was in Packwood, and Packwood does this massive swap meet every two times, twice a year. And this is the first time me or my dad ever went, and we went together. And it went, for no joke, two miles. Two miles of just garage sale. And we didn't even cover it all. We walked around for seven and a half hours. And we didn't cover it all. My legs are still sore, and I did it yesterday. <laughs> and, oh, we found some good stuff. Yeah. Alright, so I'm just, this is just kind of like a like a haul video, you know, when people do those. It's a haul video uh, of what I, what I uh, received. So if you see behind me, don't, my room is a mess. So, um, see behind me, down there. Yeah, that is a broken... Xbox 360, yeah, I know, I got it for free. It has the red ring of death, and I have no idea how I'm going to fix it, but I intend to try to fix it. So, yeah, if any, if any of y'all know how to take apart an Xbox, leave a comment, please. <laughs> but yeah, so I got that, that broken Xbox 360. I also got uh, Dark of the or er, not Dark of the Moon, Revenge of the Fallen Mind Wipe, which I'll put a picture right there. And, uh, that, he's a pretty sick figure, honestly, I really enjoy him. And I also got, for two dollars, I got Mindwipe for five dollars. Nothing there was really cheap. It wasn't, like, a regular garage sale, you know, and people are like, oh, I just, I don't want this anymore, just, I don't care, give me a dollar for it. You know, they were, they knew what they were doing, everybody did. So everything was at least five dollars. Except for, of course, this vintage squeeze lighter which i got for two dollars and it's honestly pretty sick i'm trying to fix it up it's in much better shape than it was before you can see i've been uh sanding it because that's what it, the this is where you keep all your fuel and stuff and all the ancient foam from the 1940s um all that goes in here and so as the, the wick comes out right there and it slides up in there and yeah and that's what it used to look like with all this gross black paint, but I sanded it all off on the top, and I still intend to do that on the bottom. And you can see how much better... There's still a bit left. Ugh. Still a bit left on the top, but... You know. I do have a runny nose. I don't know why, but I do. And I had it yesterday, so I didn't get it from the swap meet, so that's good. And back here, uh, the whole mechanism these two little arms were bent outward so the mechanism itself didn't work but now now it's open and you can see that's where the wick comes out and the uh flint is down there and that's that's why it was so cheap was because it's uh it was in like this this uh one family had just a ton of lighters they were a, they had so many lighters and uh they had this bin of just ones that were, like, missing stuff. And I didn't realize it was uh, actually missing the little flint. You can see the hole in there. That's where the uh, flint thingy is supposed to go. You can see down there, that's where the flint is. And it's got this whole big spring and stuff. So I'm missing that. So I'm going to have to get another one. But, yeah. So I'm pretty... That's pretty freaking cool. From the 40s. It's It's almost antique at this point. Also, I got for fifteen dollars a uh, second gen iPod Mini. Yeah, it's 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 a real. It's engraved. It says Lauren up at the top, which this is the second iPod I have that's engraved. So, yeah, I did clean it up. It was in much worse shape before, and the battery is toast. It does turn on when it's plugged in. But I left it charging all night last night, and I unplugged it this morning. It was just blank. There's nothing there. So, battery's cooked. I think I'm just going to buy a new one, uh, or not a new iPod, a new battery, and then I'm going to uh, plug it.
put a new battery in myself on on uh, on this little baby. Uh, I did plug it in. I saw how many songs are on it. It's got 937 songs on it. So that's pretty sick. It's got the uh, monochromatic display, and it's got the, the, the click wheel, you know, the touch click wheel. It's so cool. I d mm. this, is, this is an iPod that I've wanted for ages. This is the one iPod that I really wanted. And I do have a small collection of iPods. I've got um, two second-gen shuffles. Yeah, one in silver and one in blue. And then I also have a fourth gen, I think, iPod Touch, which that's the other engraved one. It says, Happy 18th birthday, Matthew. Love mom, dad, and Luke. Aww, that's kind of sad that someone paid a lot of money for this because they probably got it when it was new. And <laughs> they had it engraved. And when it's engraved, it absolutely loses all value. So if this, or if, so if Matt, hi Matt, if you're watching the video, if Matt wanted to sell it, he would not get nearly as much money for it if it was not engraved. But anyway, anyway, on to the best purchase. For $80, or sorry, $90 actually, a Dart Zone Mark II. God, I love this thing. This thing is $80 new, but you can only buy it online, so it would have cost shipping and tax and all that. But I got it for 80 plus 10 for the little laser sight, which does work. Yeah. I've got so, yeah. I'm going to take that off for now. So, this retails for $80 new. I got it for $80. Um, with all of its stuff, I got... Everything it came with, including the box, which is right there. So yeah, it is. It does have a safety. So this is. I might do a second video that is just a straight up review for this. Um, so I'll try not to spoil everything. So it does have a safety. It's got a six round internal magazine with the mag that is in the grip. The uh, handle scales are die cast metal, and it comes with this muzzle brake, which. The entire purpose of which is to uh, just make the uh, orange barrel a bit more apparent. So you can see, you can just take it off and it looks more like a real gun. It doesn't really look like a real gun, but it's close enough. It also comes with a holster. It's not like fancy, it's not like Kydex or anything, but it's high qu thought I heard my door open. High quality uh, plastic. Definitely holds its shape and it holds the blaster a little well. It rides a little high. Like, the the thing itself rides a little high, so it's kind of like, you gotta go like this to draw it, but, you know. It also rotates, so if you want to have it sit forward, it's got three points, so it's got straight up and down, a little angled, and a little more angled. You can see it's got these three bolts right there that do that, and also, we also have this, which holds... Not the magazines. I know this just looks like a straight-up gun thing. Like, it holds the magazines out of an actual firearm. Don't worry. It only holds the speed loaders. They look like they just look like magazines out of a real gun. It's fine. It does have a six-round internal magazine, as I said before. As I said before. And, yeah. So, I have... These are the darts they came with. Got hair in my mouth. Yeah. So they're orange, they're uh, green with these two little... Uh, nubs, I don't know, they're pretty good, I think, I mean, they're, they're just, they're pretty much just Adventure Force, uh, Nexus Pro half darts, but with little ridges, I don't know what the little ridges are for, and I do have, uh, an actual, uh, Adventure Force dart to compare, see, stuffy nose, it's awful, so there is, the dart that it comes with, and there's an Adventure Force dart. Let me rotate them so they are. There. You see, there's not a lot of difference. Actually, these darts are a little shorter. The green ones, they're a little shorter. Not by much, but they're a little shorter. That shouldn't be an issue, but... Yeah. And also, they're a little thinner. That's what the ridges are for. The Adventure... For the Nexus Pro half darts are... Uh, are uh, wider in the middle because there's no ridges. 
So yeah, I will do a full review and firing test of these boys, of this this boy specifically. Uh, next. So if you want to see that, um, uh, subscribe if you want to see that video because it's coming soon. Also, I have no Wi-Fi, so I'm probably gonna record this video a good long while before I post it. Uh, so yeah. Thank you for watching, dudes. Alright, see you later. Probably gonna just completely restart it again. Anyway.